Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about um, the NFL Christmas game sells to a new streaming service and now we're going to be talking about Conor McGregor breaks the record with the UFC 303 fight with Michael Chandler. Okay, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, so uh, McGregor's upcoming fight against Michael Chandler has broken records with over $20 million in ticket sales. UFC President Dana White dismisses critics, highlighting the success of recent events, including gate records exceeding $20 million. McGregor's return to the octagon at UFC 303 reaffirms, reaffirms his status as the biggest star in MMA, surpassing past gate records. Conor McGregor has set a new record without even stepping into the octagon, despite Despite a three-year hiatus due to an injury, McGregor has reaffirmed his status. Um, yeah, okay. The, sorry, this this article is a little bit repetitive. Um, scheduled to face off against uh, Michael Chandler at the UFC 303 in Las Vegas on June 29th. Uh, McGregor's return has ignited unparalleled excitement among fans. The tickets for the highly anticipated event at the Team Mobile Arena went on sale on April 26th. Astonishingly, within just over two weeks, McGregor has propelled UFC 303 to a new milestone in ticket sales. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, first stop, McGregor, Mystic Mac. Been off for three years, mm -hmm. come in off of back to back losses, mm -hmm. um, or is it back to back to back losses? Um, and he is still the biggest star in the UFC. Mm -hmm. It's just amazing to me. Mm -hmm. It is absolutely amazing to me. Um, he has a hold on the, the, the casual UFC fan. And the, the the MMA fan that has never been seen before. I'm a I'm a Conor McGregor fan, but not a fanatic. And but I want I love watching him fight. I love hearing stories about him. But I'm still just amazed. You if you look around and you say, I think this is off the top of my head. I think he's won one fight in his last five, haven't hasn't fought in three years coming off a broken leg. Mm -hmm. And people don't care. People don't care, Faith. If you have, I mean, if you, when you really look at it, the Jake Paul, Mike Tyson fight, mm -hmm. everyone, there's a ton of people excited about that. They're lining up. If you really look at Mike Tyson, when's the last time Mike Tyson actually won a fight? Mm -hmm. When you look at Conor McGregor, when's the last the last time he won a major a major fight? Yes, he beat Cowboy Cerrone and he beat Diaz before that, but that was years and years ago. Mm -hmm. And he's still setting records, and people cannot wait to see this. Um, it's going to be a that's that's going to be an interesting fight. Chandler is a guy you don't want to don't want to take light, but mm -hmm. McGregor's going to be the much bigger guy. I'm very it, it's it's a fight that it's worth worth seeing, but the fact that that he is UF three hundred just passed and he's already outsold, setting records for the most tickets sold meaning that the pay-per-view most likely is going to be a blockbuster as well outselling usc3 i mean at 301 i don't under it's that he has a hold on the ufc fan that is is different it's just different those bread those uh those iris fans they show up that's that's the cool thing about mcgregor is mm. faith first off as you as living in Europe, I have a special, I got a special love for the Irish people, man. They're different. They're so different. Mm -hmm. I was flying in from the US the last time I flew in, I flew in through Dublin. And I'm sitting on a flight and people, they're singing and they're they're they they they're, they're they're singing and walking around the aisles. This is on a flight. Everyone is. There's 
there's at least 40, 50 people singing and laughing and going over and talking to people. And I thought it was a group. I thought it was a group of people that were traveling together. And I asked the, the guy next to me, I'm like, so are you guys all together? Are you guys going to like some convention? And they're like, mm-hmm. no, we're going to visit our, our daughter who lives in Portugal. And it's like, you don't know these people? And it's like, no, we're just having a good time. Mm-hmm. You watch these Irish people, wherever you see them, they're always happy. They're always having a good time. And when their fighters are fighting or their team is playing, they jump on the plane and they go support their guy. Mm-hmm. And this is this is no different. Conor McGregor is, their, is one of their absolute biggest stars. And they're going to show up for this fight and watch. Man, if you go watch this fight, you're going to see them. They're going to be walking around the stands. They're going to be singing like crazy. There's no other people like the Irish people. It's a beautiful thing. So I'm looking forward to seeing kind of how this goes down. Mm-hmm. I hope Connor wins. I'm rooting for Connor. I hate to see Chandler lose because I'm not really rooting against Chandler. But how many times can a guy keep pulling these numbers without winning? Mm-hmm. Like I said, hasn't hasn't fought since he broke his leg. He lost that fight to Jesse Poria. He lost the fight before that. He lost the fight to Khabib. You you know, you understand what I mean? There is years since Conor McGregor has won, and I know that sounds like I'm I'm throwing shade against him. I'm just stating facts. Mm-hmm. You can't go this long. I've said this about Mike Tyson. I've said it about John Jones, and I'm saying it about Conor McGregor. You can't go this long without fighting and think you can go to the well and still be as great as you are. Um, I'm hoping that Conor McGregor can come through and pull through and put on a great show. Because if Conor McGregor goes out there and he puts on a great show, man, it, it mean, the numbers that this guy can put up for the UFC uh is is amazing so yeah that's that's my win overtake or lose, win or lose conor mcgregor just his um his presence in the ring i think that's what it is he's very entertaining to watch listen I, <laughs> you know like he has this he's tattoo on his chest. <laughs> yeah, know, see, you don't even watch UFC <laughs> and you I, know I it's know strut. Yeah, yeah. That's the crazy thing is mm-hmm. you don't even watch UFC, mm-hmm. but you know Conor McGregor. Yeah. That's what he does. Mm-hmm. You don't have to, like, normally it is UFC fans that watch UFC events. Right. Not, but when Conor McGregor's involved, <laughs> other people, people yeah. like Faith. Faith, who looks amazing in her, her dress today, shows up and starts rooting for Conor McGregor. And that's different. Well, I am from, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I am of Irish descent. So, I mean, I kind of have to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? They just kind of show up for these kind of, these, these events. And I mean, they, the Irish people really support their guys. And mm-hmm. I love it. I, they're, you can they're infectious when you're around them they're not they're the best kind of fun Mm -hmm. because they they'll they drink they'll drink like crazy and be they're happy they're happy drinkers they're fun people the men the women you can't go wrong hanging around the irish Mm -hmm. so i'm all for conor mcgregor winning and doing more events because mm-hmm. it's just it's just good for the good for the sport mm-hmm. overall. Yep. So and faith got a faith is a little Irish as well. That's so. Right. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, guys. Well, with that, we are going to take another short break, and when we come back, we are going to dive into our dumb criminals for the week. So make sure you guys stick around, and we will be back in a minute. 